Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So this is gonna be a reading for the sign of Pisces. Pisces, my readings are timeless, so when you see them is when you're meant to hear them. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Also, please don't forget to hit the post notification bell so you can get alerts when my videos are posted. Pisces, if you wish to donate towards my channel, all the links will be in the description box down below. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for being here. Please don't forget to subscribe. It would mean the world to me. If you've been on my channel already, supporting me throughout all these years, I totally appreciate you. I thank you for all the love and support that you give me through watching my videos. So let's get into it. We got 37, nature communication, flower energies, fairy energies, elemental messengers. Okay. So, mm, okay. I'm just going to put that back without even pulling a card. <laughs> Somebody might be trying to cover up the message, y'all. Covering up a message. I will show you whom to trust. The number two, Kitsun. I will show you the trust. So maybe people have been around you that you haven't been able to trust. All right. But divine, your spirit guides are saying, no fear. We gonna we gonna make sure that you uh, get that ASAP. Okay. Back over here, 37. Somebody may be 37 years old. Somebody may be 73 years old. That's also 10. That's a completion. So you're starting off where you have finished something. And now you may have, it'd be front. Okay, let me not jump around. So you have finished something. And now there's people that you have gotten rid of and new people coming in that you are able to trust. All right. And to me, it seems, it's giving magical flower energy so that's nature fairy energies more like you know supernatural shit all right is what it's giving me um march 10th being there significant or important important can be your birthday um march 2nd i think i already said that we got nobility honor high standards idealistic so you are of nobility some type king queen that type of you know environment that may be past life energy as well or you a queen in this this timeline all right and you know how people say hey king hey queen but it's identifying identifying of nature so your energy is of nobility you have high morals high standards high values and you carry yourself as such somebody may be 42 years old or 24 years old that's also six okay so march 6 being there we got carnivorous flower fairy attempting offer but at what price attempting offer at a higher price this thing is beautiful but deadly um that flower will eat you up that's a uh what is that venus fly trap spanish fly does that they call it either one um either way i think that plant eats meat so beautiful but deadly I will show you who to trust, nature communication. Y'all, this is totally giving me the vibe, like, powerful. Like, I am female, hear me roar, so powerful. Girl with the snake, empath the narcissist paradigm, and I don't know why I don't repeat it stuff twice. So, there may be two of you around here. There's four of them, um, but maybe two separate energies that are happening here. Um, we have somebody that is trying to charm you to get something from you, trying to charm you to take something from you you can't trust them so they're your spirit guides are getting ready to bring you in maybe your soul family your soul tribe so that way you don't have to worry about dealing with conniving ass energies anymore we got talking here and we also have heart with a key sticking out so interested conversing more awaiting the message a message arrives an email a text are hovering so somebody's waiting for either you to reach out or you're waiting for somebody to reach out we have the dragonfly here, be lighthearted, finding out things come into light, adapt, change, and heal. So you healing from a situation, circumstance, person, place, or thing. But there's also heart with a key here, welcoming love, meeting the one, opening your heart, and getting to know, getting things together. Things coming together perfectly. Um, we have cassette here, outdated thinking, so something that's old, con uh, conditioning, replaying events over and over in your head. 
So somebody from your past doesn't seem like they're on the up and up, okay? So this might be why there's the new people coming in. So this could be family, friends, ex-co-workers or co-workers, people that, but somebody from the past was not totally on the up and up. And it's like this person's being X out, X out, cut off from you and your energy because this person, okay, or this person's being blocked. Um, you could potentially have blocked this person, but listen to your inner voice before you're making decisions. So difficult decisions, weighing your options, avoidance, deadlock, embarrassed thinking, thinking before you make decisions, separation. So this is at a crossroads, I'm trying to figure out which way to go, but it's also giving me, like I said, third eye, third eye awakening when I see this card, because it's basically like you may be blindfolded, but you can still see. So, and I mean the seeing third eye type version. So Okay, I see three cards that matter here. Um, I'm going to put them all back, but these are the three that are being made aware to me right here, right now. So we got an emperor being stabbed in the back, which is a 10, um, and somebody being deceptive. So painful endings, ruin, deep wounds, loss, crisis, failure. I mean, it has ended for better or for worse, for richer or for poor. So somebody's marriage is over. Um like I said, emperor energy here. We also have being your guard against deceit and concealment, which I already said somebody is basically like lying, cheating, stealing somebody that you may have loved at one point in time. But now there's illusions being thrown or sent to you. Be careful that your imagination doesn't cause you to see things that aren't there. So illusions, mystery, dreams, intuition, fear, anxiety, subconscious mind, and premonitions here. So everything is not being shown, okay? So just what you see is not what you get. All right, how about that? That's the vibe that that's giving me. So there's some things that are being hidden. All right, we got a magician energy out here. That could be the person that's throwing the illusions. Somebody feeling left out in the cold from you or somebody that wants to come back in from out of the cold to you. We got the hermit here, introspection, but that also gives me shedding light on something. So all the answers will come from within. So soul searching there. We got a queen of wands. Mm, where did I get queen of wands from? A queen of cups energy, okay? So compassionate, comforting, calm, nurturing, healing, emotionally stable, intuitive, and caring. Be open to receive love and emotion. So you being open, somebody wants you to be open enough for them to come into your energy. And also we got temperance angel here, so... Something that took time. Something that needed time. I feel like this is very much boring. And I also feel like somebody's trying to cover up something. That's what I feel like. I'm bored. Um, so somebody's trying to hide something here. We got an Ace of Wands over the Magician. So more magic being thrown. Somebody's trying to cover up something that they did. But the more they do, the more it gets exposed. Um, new projects, inspiration, or urge to create willpower, desire. Yeah, somebody's getting ready to have a tower. I don't know. Like I said, it's boring the shit out of me. So hold on, y'all. Let's see what I can do here. Let's see what we can do. Because something ain't working. Something is, something's not given. It's not given. Because I feel like somebody's trying to... This is like more of the throwing rocks and hiding your hands type vibe, all right? That's what somebody's giving me. So, somebody may be on to you or you on to somebody. But somebody's having a tower. So, there's sudden change, upheaval, chaos, revelation, and awakening of the disaster. A sudden release insight. Um, always expect the unexpected. So, we got a team of people that are having a freaking tower moment. All right, let's see what's happening. Oh, shit. That was like an explosion. So we got an explosion happening here. We got judgment. We got empress. All right, what have y'all done? So judgment, answering the call to duty, creates new opportunities. So seven of swords, mm. What did y'all do? All right, somebody is casting magic on an empress. The 
it's almost like whatever they did they basically try to take you out somebody tried to call judgment on you we got a five of wands so a battle that took place that's giving me like spiritual warfare these cards are very pretty can you see that so somebody's judgment on you was to try to take you down take you out Four of Swords. All right. So I feel like you being granted grace here. Um, I don't know why for the life of me. It's, there's some type of illusion being thrown here. And they're basically saying you got to be patient. Um, Something's being untangled. But meanwhile, over here, it's like maybe somebody's either trying to send a sleep spell. Like there's a battle. And then there's Four of Swords. That's rest, relaxation, meditation, contemplation, um, that type of thing. So taking time out or you may be tired from going through this battle. But either way, somebody basically tried to, the judgment, somebody put a hit out on a empress basically is what that looks like. Somebody tried to take you down, take you out. What is wrong with y'all people? Meanwhile, you got nothing but God on your side. All right, so one of two things happening. We got seven of cups, and that's seven and seven. Seven. Where's that? Seven. Okay. Hold up. Let's see what's happening here. That was a 10. That was a completion. That was an ending. And we got, hmm, okay, so somebody may have been born in 77. So what it looks like to me is either you got a couple here that basically try to, you know, take you down, take you out, creating havoc, chaos, trying to cause towers on you. And this card just dropped, so apparently that must be the truth right here. As y'all see, that's what fell on the floor next to me. Um, somebody was doing daily rituals right here. What in the heck is happening? Somebody saying, uh, kiss my ass and let something go. And then, okay, so I'm gonna put this there because those are closed. But this is what this says. And this is what I was gonna say because we got the lover's card here and then we got a seven of cups, meaning somebody has options, right? So from the looks of it to me is, judgment somebody placed a judgment call on you like i said somebody tried to put on a hit, a hit on an empress um which caused spiritual warfare um either we got a couple that did this because it's lovers being here either a couple did this or somebody trying to stop a connection that's coming through because also it says love of a lifetime here so on truth it says love of a lifetime daily routines very daily rituals it says also yes like yes they were doing that yeah and then it says kiss my ass and let it go so somebody was told to let it go then you got temperance here and then you got strength also coming out here um somebody basically saving you because this king of wands card looks like this So a natural leader, a visionary. So somebody that could actually see and, and it's Indian. It looks like it's giving me Indian vibe. So it looked like maybe you were saved, rescued, um, higher up energy. There's an empress here too. So an empress here, a king of pentacles here. And y'all just see me just pull them cards right off the top. And an empress here, double confirmation on an empress. Somebody tried to take an empress down. And like I said, it was a no-go. So I don't know what this is, but apparently you, nobility is important because there's two empresses here. Double confirmation on the it was an empress. Somebody tried to shut down an empress. You don't have that power or that authority. It caused a whole battle. Look at this card. These cards are so pretty. Either way, that's the reading. Um, hopefully it helps. Uh, you have nothing to worry about because apparently um, <coughs> God don't play about you. And they're going to have to go through God to get to you. So, But somebody was out here doing daily rituals, daily, daily practicing daily magic up against you, trying to you know take you down. But it's a no-go. 
So that's it. That's all. Thank you guys for coming to my channel. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and go with God. Yeah.